Hey what's up, it's Dan or DMAD96 here and welcome back to our F1 Manager crew mode with Stuart GP for the start of Season 2. In the last episode we uh, finished our pre-season testing and we were the fastest driver giving us very good momentum into the first round in Australia and yeah, the Australian Grand Prix um, is first up, wrong track, there we go and yeah, I'm excited for this race, last year we pulled off a very good showing taking third of Rubens Barrichello this year we got much better drivers and a much better car hopefully we can actually finish in a much higher position try and push for that um, first uh, victory if we can and I think we do have the pace to be pushing for victories now especially because we were very quick in pre-season testing Ferrari however they still have their top chassis and they still have a top engine our chassis is uh, at the minute far from good compared to Ferrari's yeah, we've also got to watch out for the likes of Jordan, who proved to be very quick in testing. And even though McLaren have struggled in pre-season testing for fastest, they still have a very good chassis. So Michael Schumacher, we can still expect him to be a big threat in this race. So there's not much really for me to talk about right now, so I'll see you guys at the end of the practice session. Okay, so practice has finished for the first round of the new season, and it's all looking pretty interesting. One of the big surprises is Pedro De La Rosa, seventh fastest in the pros, putting in a hell of a performance. And Prost were fifth fastest in testing, so very good work there from uh, De La Rosa. The only rookie on the grid, Patrick Lamarie, putting in a solid effort uh, to, uh, to finish eighth in practice. That's that's not bad for your first attempt. David Coulthard in the Benetton uh, was actually slower than the rookie, down in ninth. Uh, going towards the end of the field, Pedro Diniz was way off his teammate in last, as his teammate was all the way up in seventh. Uh, we had uh, two hours drivers lining ahead of both Minardi drivers, uh, Johnny Herbert and Jarno Trulli, uh, 10th and 11th. Our former driver Rubens Barrichello up in 5th. Excellent for Jordan, and them showing really good pace, but Mika Hakkinen setting the pace by a massive 7 tenths ahead of his teammate Ralph Schumacher. Both of Ferraris on top of the session. We only set one lap time for both our drivers and uh, Obviously, we're just testing out the setup with Villeneuve. Frenson had a much better setup on. He was quicker. His lap was set more towards the end of the session. So, a good effort for Heinz and to make it third fastest right at the end. And, yeah, the reigning champion, Michael Schumacher, fourth in the McLaren. So, a solid effort for the world champion, despite having a much less powerful car than everyone else. But it's looking good going into qualifying. Third and sixth fastest doing much better than we ever did last season with Stewart. I'm really excited for this. For now, it's time to move on to the qualifying report. Olivier Panis, in his first race for Minardi, outqualifies teammate Mark Genet to 19th on the grid. The two Arrows drivers line up 17th and 18th, whilst Damon Hill puts in a solid performance for Sauber to qualify 14th. Giancarlo Fisichella was a disappointing 15th for BAR, whilst his teammate Zanardi was all the way down in 20th. David Coulthard will start in 12th, one place ahead of teammate Alex Verz. Ahead of the two Bentons were the two Williams drivers, with Johnny Herbert ahead of Jarno Trulli. The Prost of Pedro de la Rosa was a major shock in qualifying, with an excellent ninth, whilst the grid's only rookie, Patrick Lamarie, put in a very good effort to line up alongside teammate and defending champion, Michael Schumacher. Both Jordans showed strong form with Barrichello fourth and Irvine fifth. They split the two Stewart drivers with Jack Villeneuve in an impressive third with his debut for the team. It was Mika Hakkinen, however, who will start on pole position for the first round of the new season with his teammate Ralph Schumacher alongside. Will the Finn hold off the charge from his teammate and the two Stewarts? It is time for the Australian Grand Prix. So the qualifying's just finished and yeah, I'm fairly pleased with that result. Uh, Jack Vilner starting third, which I am happy with. Frenson doing alright, starting um, uh, sixth though. The two Ferraris on pole position. You can see the strategies on the screen there. Both drivers doing two stop strategy. Hopefully we can do a lot better in the race. Sitting third for Villeneuve, like I said, sick for Frenson. Both Jordans actually splitting us. And then the two Ferraris sitting uh, comfortably in their uh, top two positions. I did say they would be very hard to beat this year. Schumacher in seventh. His teammate Patrick Lemery in a side eighth place on his debut. And then pretty much. Uh, the rest as you probably expect really. But Sauber though, Ricardo is on to way down the order and way behind his teammate Damon Hill. Uh, the two hours drivers off the back row of the grid. Um, Alessandro Zanardi quite way off his teammate Fizzy Keller. Yeah, it looks like an interesting grid as well. Della Rosa is still showing his good pace from practice in ninth. So qualifying's definitely been exciting. Now it's time to move on 
to the first race of the season. So that's about to illuminate here for the first round of the 2000 season. Jack Bona starting in third. Can we have a good race? It is lights out and away we go. And Jack Bona off to a decent start. Two Ferrari drivers off into the lead. And you can see now on board with Heinz Alfredson who has maintained that sixth position. I think Lamarie has just passed his teammate Michael Schumacher going down to turn, uh, turn one. So the rookie pulling off an impressive start already, getting ahead of his more experienced teammate and world champion as Heinz Alfredson pulls up an excellent move around the inside of one of the Jordan drivers. I think that was Eddie Irvine. We're going to have another look at it again into turn three. And there you go, Heinz Alfredson taking fit sixth, well, no, it's actually fifth position here. Of the Australian Grand Prix. We're going to move on to uh, Jack Villeneuve. You can see um, he's still in third position, slowly catching up. Well, he's actually keeping up really with the two Ferrari drivers ahead. Mick Hacken, I think that is in the lead of the Grand Prix with, um, I think, Ralph Schumacher in second. We're going to go on board from now. Yeah, Hacken and Lees, he is pulling away, and Villeneuve's all over the back of Ralph Schumacher. So Villeneuve still some, uh, somehow managing to keep up with Ferraris. Despite them having the uh, much better pace in qualifying. And you can just see how close Villeneuve is behind. Hopefully he can get past him. But it is Schumacher's teammate Hakkinen in the lead of the Grand Prix. And is pulling away from the two cars behind him. It's been a good start so far. And oh, Michael Schumacher's passed his teammate Lamarie. We saw Lamarie get ahead of him uh, going down to turn one. Lamarie drops behind Michael Schumacher. And well, he's already pulled away, has Schumacher. And, well, Michael Schumacher doing a, uh, well, well, re really showing his rookie teammate, really, who is the better driver. And Lamarie actually falling into the clutches of, um, I think that's Della Rosa behind, who's, who, had a, who had a brilliant qualifying position and is keeping up to the McLaren. So we're moving on to lap six here of the Australian Grand Prix, and it's Jack Villeneuve, you can see, in second position. Uh, he, uh, he has managed to pass uh, Ralph Schumacher, and look who that is up the road. It is Mika Hakkinen, and he is catching up uh, relatively quickly. And Jack Villeneuve here, moving up into second place. We could actually take the lead on the track here. And Jack Villeneuve, well, is, is looking like he's going to get one of our best results ever. But he, uh, we don't know. He could actually get this race win if he just keeps pushing hard enough. As for Heinz Alfredson, he has managed to get rid of the two Jordans. He's now in fourth, and I believe he is catching up to Ralph Schumacher. In third position, not sure what the gap is. So he's, so he's currently six seconds behind Ralph Schumacher and the two Jordans, uh, five seconds behind Barrichello leading Eddie Irvine. You can see even on the minimap as well, Schumacher in that McLaren keeping up to uh, the Jordans. And it's very surprising how the Jordans have been much faster than the McLarens this weekend. And that gap between Hakkinen and Villeneuve here is going ever closer. It's now one second Villeneuve really piling the pressure here on the former champion in his first race for Ferrari. And obviously Ferrari uh, going here as one of the favourites, despite the fact that we were quicker than, uh, than them in pre-season testing. But, I don't know, it, 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 it's looking very close now. We're only four attempts behind him, but we have got back marks to deal with. So now, this is getting a bit worrying. We're in a Ferrari sandwich, one of them is right ahead of us. You can see on the screen there how close Ralph Schumacher is behind as we lap on one of the BARs. If we want to win this race, we really need to start pushing. But this back marker train is helping out Heinz Alfredson, who is very much catching to the back of Ralph Schumacher now. Well, Ralph Schumacher's now just taken the lead. He's absolutely pushed his way. Mika Hakkinen, for some reason, is just dropping off massively. He is he's now he's fallen way behind his teammate, and we are catching up to uh, Hakkinen now. But, but more importantly, the other Ferrari drivers taking the lead. Ralph Schumacher in the, uh, well, the second Ferrari seat, which has proven to be quite um, unlucky, if I say so myself, as shown by Eddie Irvine last season, who barely, I think, finished about four or five races whilst Michael Schumacher went on to win the championship. Maybe, maybe because it's a Schumacher in uh, the number two seat. That's probably why Ralph Schumacher's not retiring. He's going off into the pit so for his first pit stop, however. So Ralph Schumacher is absolutely charging after his pit stop. He is in the provisional race lead. Heinz Alfredson, however, is going off into the pit lane. I think Mika Hakkinen might have just gone to the pits because it, just, it did say Villeneuve's in the lead. But um, we're on board with Frentzen now, who is going into the pits for his first of two stops this weekend. 
So Frenson rejoins in fourth position behind Mika Hakkinen. Villeneuve will be into the pits on this lap. Villeneuve is in the pit lane now. Ralph Schumacher goes through. Mika Hakkinen goes through. Uh, it looks like the two Ferrari drivers are going to run away with this. Jack Villeneuve quite a way behind them. Heinz South Frenson stuck in back markers at the minute. Meanwhile, in this battle for the uh, low end of the points, Michael Schumacher making it a difficult day so far for the Jordan drivers. Oh, we've had a retirement. Alexander Zanardi's out the race. And there is uh, Michael Schumacher in sixth position, splitting the two Jordans. Lamarie exiting the pit lane. He's having an alright day the race so far. Barrichello seventh. Irvine fifth and Schumacher really piling some pressure here. He's got Rubens Barrichello behind him. And he's doing a solid job despite having a quite underpowered car in comparison to everyone else. Oh, Eddie Irvine's retired. Michael Schumacher now moves into fifth position. And Eddie Irvine's retired with fuel issues. Jack Villeneuve, though, slowly catching up to the back of a Ferrari. So he's nine seconds behind. This could be interesting. Mika Hacken, however, has taken the lead of the Grand Prix back. He's just past Ralph Schumacher. Yeah, so Ralph Schumacher has now dropped behind us as well. So we, we're now in second position. Eight seconds behind Hakkinen. Victory could still be possible here. If Villeneuve just keeps pushing. Frentzen, however, in fourth. Uh, Michael Schumacher, he's, he's miles ahead of him. Barrichello in sixth. Lamarie, only one position off the points. Retirement's only three so far. And look at how fast. Jack Villeneuve is right now. Six second behind Hackman. He is gaining. Ralph Schumacher, nothing he can do. He is falling back. 19 seconds behind Villeneuve here, making this race exciting. And the gap is 1.7 seconds between Hackman and Villeneuve. And Frensen's overtaken Schumacher. Heinzel Frensen scores to Ralph Schumacher, and he's now taken third place. Even more excitement. We're both on the podium here. And there, you can see on the map. Just ahead of that, Williams is Mika hacking and back markers again could save him. Hopefully they don't. We've also realised Barrichello's out of the race, which has put um, Lamarie into the points, and Ralph Schumacher's dropped out from the race. Barge boards costing the Ferrari driver. We're still running second and third. Michael Schumacher in fourth. Despite the McLaren looking very slow in testing, he's looking like he's going to get some decent points. Lamarie on his debut in fifth. Bill has five seconds behind with six laps to go. And three, three laps left. There's no one separating. There's no back markers in the way. And Villeneuve could pass Hackett in. It's so close to the battle for the lead. No back markers in the way. Try and risk everything. No, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. So Jack Villeneuve, though, did put in a very good effort towards the end. But Mika Hackett in, however looks like now he's going to take the victory in his first race for Ferrari. He had a very difficult end to last season with McLaren. He's moved to the Ferrari team. He lost the championship because of the amount of bad luck he suffered towards the second end of the season. But Mika Hakkinen is going to kick off his 2000 season with a bang. He has taken the victory here in Australia. Jack Villeneuve, however, uh, unfortunately we have missed him cross the line but he has just finished second for Stuart GP and his teammate Heinz Howell Frentzen still only a few more corners to go is going to take third place and it's going to be a good start to our 2000 campaign as uh, we're actually going to equal our best ever result in this career mode with second and third Villeneuve's taken second here in Australia and Heinz Howell Frentzen crosses the line and it's third place a double podium lockout for Stuart GP and a brilliant way to start the season. Hacking in, uh, taking the win. That was a bit of a shame, really. But uh, with Villeneuve retiring, uh, uh, Ralph Schumacher retiring, even, it's uh, a, a double podium for us. And it's now, well, I think uh, we're, we're equal with um, Ferrari in the Constructors' Championship um, after this race. S something that I forgot to mention, however, Michael Schumacher has retired from the race and so is his teammate Lamarie. Absolute shame for both of them considering how uh, poorly McLaren was in pre-season testing. They both retire from the race which will hand Jarno Trulli fourth place. Only eight finishes in this Grand Prix. for two Benetton's round off points. Damon Hill was on his way to score fifth but a retirement right at the end. Uh, an engine failure from Salva Driver. Uh, that's cost him a fifth place. But Jarno Trulli taking fourth for Williams. David Coulthard and Alexander Verts rounding out the points for Benetton. 
in an insane opening round uh, of F1 Manager Season 2, it's Mika Hakkinen back on top in the Australian Grand Prix, with two Stuart drivers really pushing him to the limits, Villeneuve only finishing four seconds behind. This is a sign of good things to come, I think. Hopefully we can continue. Hopefully we can try and get that first ever victory. So, so an excellent first round. Not much point showing the drivers' championship standings, but here they are anyway. It is a complete reflection of the top six in the actual race. Hakkinen uh, leading with ten points. Villeneuve and Frensen second and third. That's highest. That's higher than we've ever been in 1999. Yano uh, Trulli on the board as well with three points. David Coulthard and Alexander Wurz completing the top six. Obviously, it's still early days. We've uh, got to keep, on, keep an eye on Ralph Schumacher. Michael Schumacher could even uh, perform a lot better as well. But hacking and taking uh, uh, the early form, the early 10 points with a win here in Australia. And in the Constructors' Championship, uh, we technically should be second on count back of race positions. But um, Ferrari and Stewart tied on points with 10 points each. And then Benetton and Williams behind with three points. Only four teams have scored so far. We've still got to wait for the remaining seven to actually score. Uh, especially hoping that McLaren and Jordan, maybe even Prost, who put in a good uh, good showing in practice and qualifying with Pedro de la Rosa, unfortunately didn't make it to the end of the race. So of good things to come, I think, for uh, for us with um, 10 points from this weekend. Maybe we can try and get finally get that first victory of the season. I feel like we could have had it here if we... Uh, I, know, just, I think we're just a little bit lucky we could have had it. And then the Team Managers Championship, well... I think the points of uh, continue with, uh, from where they left off from the last season. Not so sure, but um, uh, uh, anyway, we are leading with Ferrari second. Williams, the biggest gainers from last up to third. Uh, Rocco Benson moving to fourth. Ron Dennis, who was, I think, the second best manager last season, has dropped down to last. Probably because of both drives retiring, but that's really his own fault for bringing Ford Z-Tech engines into the team. But yeah. Uh, messed up team manager standings with Eddie Jordan all the way down at the bottom as well both his drivers retired shame because he actually put on a pretty decent showing but yeah it's a, a brilliant start to the season uh, second and third place sitting uh, joint top of the Constructors Championship second and third in the Drivers Championship and leading the team managers championship yet again so that was uh, the first round of our F1 manager season 2 hope you guys enjoyed it and next up, we'll be moving on to the Brazilian Grand Prix, the Interlagos Circuit. A race that had a bit of bad luck for us last time and a bit of good luck. Barrichello retired right at the end of the race. Johnny Herbert took a fantastic fourth uh, to make up for it. Another race for Hakkinen won, however. So, got to keep an eye out for him. Ferrari definitely proven to be the quickest car this year. But we were not far off in Australia, and that is... Uh, a sign of something good happening in the future but anyway Brazil next I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode if you have please like comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel until next time guys this has been DMAT96 and I'll catch you guys later you pull apart so I divide and I know there's something between us with nothing inside nothing at all